Marcos chapter 5. And they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarenes. And when he came out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. And he had his dwelling among the tombs. And no one was able to bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. But the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, and no one was able to tame him. And continually, night by day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. And seeing Yahusha from a distance, he ran and bowed down to him. And having called out with a loud voice, he said, What have I done with you, Yahusha, son of the Most High El? Swear to Elohim not to torture me. For he has said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. And he was asking him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, because we are many. And he begged him very much that he would not send them out of the country. Now a great herd of pigs was there, feeding near the mountains. And all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, so that we enter into them. And he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered into the pigs. They were about two thousand, and the herd rushed down the steep place into the sea, and drowned in the sea. And those who fed the pigs fled, and reported it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what had taken place. So they came to Yahusha and saw the demon-possessed one, him who had the legion, sitting and dressed, and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who saw it related to them what was done to the demon-possessed one and about the pigs. And they began to plead with him to leave their borders. And as he was entering into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged him that he might be with him. And Yahusha did not allow him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and report to them what the master has done for you and how he had compassion on you. And he left and began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Yahusha had done for him, and all marveled. And when Yahusha had passed over again by boat to the other side, a large crowd assembled him, and he was by the sea. And see, one of the rulers of the congregation came, Yair by the name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and begged him strongly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come lay your hands on her to heal her, and she shall live. And he went with him, and a large crowd was following him, and they were thronging him. And a certain woman had a flow of blood for twelve years, and had suffered much from many physicians, and spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather become worse. Having heard about Yahusha, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment, for she said, if I only touch his garments, I shall be made well. And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And immediately Yahusha, knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his taught ones said to him, You see the crowd is thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he was looking around to see her who did this. And the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done to her, came and fell down before him and spoke to him all the truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your belief has healed you. Go in peace and be relieved from your affliction. As he was speaking, they came from the ruler of the congregation's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But having heard the word that was spoken, Yahusha said to the ruler of the congregation, do not be afraid, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Kepha and Yaakov and Yohanan, the brother of Yaakov. So they came to the house of the ruler of the congregation and saw a commotion and much weeping and lamenting. And coming in, he said to them, Why make this commotion and weep? The child has not died, but is sleeping. And they were laughing at him. And when he had put them all out, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him, and went in where the child was lying. And taking the child by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which is translated, Little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl rose up and was walking, for she was twelve years old, and they were completely astonished. 
but he ordered them many times that no one should know it and said that she should be given food to eat.